Right there was snark. <laughs> the bug just flew in my nose. Oh my god. Oh, is it gone? Is it gone? Is it gone? I don't see it. A few days ago, we almost got stranded at the grocery store in my old truck. Everyone was saying it was the starter or something like that. I don't know, but it just seems like every other week it's something else. Yeah. It's falling apart on that truck. Yeah. And we had just funny, we had just left the car dealership. We were looking at trucks. I mean, we saw one we liked, but a bunch we didn't like. And it's been a pain in the butt trying to find a truck. Yeah, so we figured it is time to get a new truck. That almost getting stuck at the grocery store. I just tried to start my truck and it was making a really weird noise. So I stopped it. I checked the oil. Oil's full. Uh, I don't know what this noise is. Let's see if it does it again. What the heck? What? I mean, we're at the store. We just drove here. Everything was fine. Can we come back? I don't know. That was like the last yeah. straw. We were already looking. We were like, oh, we need to expedite this uh, this search. But when you expedite a search, um, it can be dangerous. Yes. You know what I mean? So you got to take precautionary me measures. So uh, let us show you guys the truck. Oh, wait. We got a truck. So we got... A, we new got a new truck. truck. It's not brand new. It's used, but it's new to us. Yeah, it's new to, uh, it so. feels brand new to me. It feels like a rental car or something. Like I never been in a vehicle this new. I never used. Reverse. You haven't been in one. Not even a rental car. Oh, I've been in a rental car, but I mean, like, You've owned, never owned like one. been like, yeah, like I've never used a reverse camera before. Yes, yeah, same. You know, like there's certain features that it's like, whoa, what, what? All right, let's take a look at the truck. All right, so this is our new truck. It's a Toyota Tundra. With the V8, the 5.7 liter V8. All right, we'll take a walk around. Bam! Not <laughs> All right, you want to look at the inside? Yeah. I love the tires. And this is the four-wheel drive version. I don't think I'll need all that, but you never know. The back seat. It's huge. The back seat is huge. And that's something we wanted. We yeah. wanted adults to be able to fit back there comfortably. Kids, because we're going to keep in this truck for as long as it'll drive. Yeah. Nice and big and comfy, and we love it so much. So since we were kind of in a rush to get a truck, because things started to deteriorate a little faster than we were expecting, we decided to go the certified pre-owned route. This is a 2017. We were looking at, yeah, we were looking at like 2011, 2013, but all of them had rust underneath. Yeah, the frames were starting to rust. Yeah, there's no warranty whatsoever. One had oil seeping from the bottom of the engine. Yeah, and they weren't that much cheaper, like. Yeah, they were like twenty six to thirty thousand yeah. dollars with one hundred forty thousand miles, it's like, and no kind yeah. of warranty at all. And then once you add the dealer fees on top of that, I mean, they were all going to be in right. the thirties. Yeah, so it's like you might save ten grand, but you're gonna easily spend yeah. that much on repairs and issues. Every time, single so. older one we looked at had rust. But we Everyone. didn't get we didn't get heated seats. We opted for cloth seats because instead of leather. That saved us a lot of money too instead of getting the um, like limited the edition premium, or 1794 yeah. or any of that platinum stuff. Because we went to go look at a used one that had heated seats and all that stuff. <laughs> and it was sitting outside in the sun all day, which is good because we don't have a garage. Our truck sits in the sun all day. And I got in the truck and it was hot, but she just touched the leather seats and then she's like, oh no, I'm not even getting in. She wouldn't even sit on them because they were so hot. It was too hot. Which is good. I, mean, I don't want leather seats in Florida, but I mean, if you want heated seats, we we're going to get heated seats. I was just yeah. going to get a cloth seat cover. I'm not sitting on leather in Florida. Yeah, it's too, it was Maybe way too Maybe if you have a garage. Hot. Yeah. Yeah, in a garage, I think it would be fine. But even still, you go to the beach, you go anywhere, it's like, just burn you. And then you have to get one of those foil things that you put on the front to like yep. block the sun. And that's too much work. Which we still might get that eventually, just to make it not so hot inside. But I mean, ugh, that leather. I was like, no, I don't want this. I don't want heated seats anymore. Yeah. Although I love a war tushy. <laughs> <laughs> and so the cost, how much did this truck cost? Shoot. I think what they were asking on the internet was um, 38750 or so. But then they had like some $250 internet discount. So you're at $38,500. And then we talked them down $1,000. So $37,500. And we did finance it. So our car note is uh, 500 
and $27 a month. And our car insurance went up $150 over six months. I was actually terrified of taking on a car note, but Canada Rocks told me he would pay half my car note and he would help me pay the, nice. the truck off in the future. So that made me feel a lot better because I already know student loans are coming they're due. Coming they're coming out of there. forbearance and I know our insurance will go up. I know we're going to have more bills in the future, especially once we get a house one day, then we're going to have a mortgage too. So yeah. I was actually pretty terrified of taking on a yeah. car note. <laughs> Originally yeah. I was looking at like 2005 F-150s, Tacomas, Tundras, things like that. Uh, she didn't like those that much. She's tired of riding in my old mobiles. Yeah, I mean, they just come with so many. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. We've been having car issues, like I was saying. We've been having car issues for a while now. And it's just like, ugh. Car issues take away so much of your energy because you don't know if you'll be able to get where you need to go. You don't know if, it, like, when there's a hurricane, is it going to work? You know what I mean? When there's an emergency, you got to go somewhere. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't know. It can be very stressful. But also, I didn't want anything brand new because it's like, dang, it's so expensive. Like, I hate to spend a lot of money, but also, it's like these days with cars, you kind of like screwed either way because if you get something older, you're going to pay a little bit less, but you're gonna, it's going to have the same issues as the older vehicle still, and it's still going to be overpriced. And if you get something new, you're going to pay a lot more than you probably would feel comfortable paying, but at least in theory, you would have less issues. Yes. I'm just so glad to, like this truck, I literally, when I was 19, I almost got scammed on eBay because uh, I saw a black pickup truck that looked kind of like this and they were like, selling it for $8,000 and at 19 years old, I was like, oh, this could be real. This was before even Craigslist era, like this was a decade yeah. ago. And so it's been a dream for like yeah, the last 10 years. this is your dream years. truck. <laughs> yeah, it's been a dream for like the last 10 years to have a truck like this. I have and a lot of dream trucks, so I don't even know if I have a dream truck. Yeah. If I, if I do, this is definitely one of them. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I don't know, it just to me always seemed really safe, but um, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just like, I don't know, I feel like this is like our first, our first big kid purchase. Yeah, and we owe it all to you guys. We do, uh, You guys have For supported sure. us this 100%. whole time, helping us get our lives 100%. back on track, so yeah. we try not to spend too much money, we still try to live frugally, to save up, to actually yeah. make those two big purchases that we needed to make, a truck and, and a, a house. house. And so now we have one out the way. Of course, we got to carry a car note, but we got one of those out the way. Yeah. Oh, we just have one more to go. Yeah. And then I feel like yeah. a normal person again. Thanks to you guys, we've <laughs> been able to recover our credit. You know what I'm saying? Like, your credit. Yeah. Well, I mean, yours too, a lot. A lot. Your credit. Well. You have good credit, which is why we didn't get too bad of an interest yeah. rate. It was like 7.7. .7. I mean, not great, but the Fed's yeah. raising interest rates, so what can you do about that? What can you do? But uh, yeah, your credit is good. My credit is, um, I like to call it flexible. It's better than it was. I like to call it flexible. Better than it was. But still, I mean, that definitely. I guess we do need to try and fix that before we get a house. Yeah. Because when we first landed in the trailer, like our credit, both of our credit was terrible. We had a lot of credit card debt too. And we, you know, we we're stuck in a trailer park, barely making any money. And we also were coming from entrepreneurship. So it's like, it's not just like, you know, living paycheck to paycheck. It's like, you don't know where your next money's coming from. So, I mean, thanks to you guys. we are digging out of this hole day by day, Couch Gang. Yes, thank you. Oh, there's one more thing we gotta show. Let's start Oh, wait, off. and the, oh, we even forgot to tell him about the dealership guy flaming your truck. Oh, uh, it's whatever. <laughs> That's pretty. Go for it, go, you go. It's pretty funny. It was, well, basically, it's like, you know, our so the guy that sold us the, the truck is like, you know, this young guy, and he drives an Audi and whatever, and, you know, we pull up, this 93 F-150 that's like, you know, baby. like you put it in reverse, kills the engine, like all these, you know, funky, you know, things. And it's like, I don't even know. I mean, he seemed like he's driven an older vehicle before, you know, but I feel like- No, he never had. He never had? He said he's only seen those online. Okay, so his, his reaction was just like, oh, bruh, I was just like, what, what is this? Well, what because is um, when I was going to trade it in, I gave him the keys him to go do it and when he came back after driving it and stuff <laughs> yeah he was just like i know where the i don't know where to live. like he was just i was super... in the dealership cracking up yeah because he... he got stuck in there because my door handle uh doesn't work the inside handle yeah it doesn't work and so he didn't know how to get out i forgot to tell him you got to roll the window down and then open it from the outside but eventually he figured it out <laughs> he came back all sweaty and stuff he was sweating bullets he had to clean himself yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> he said, man, I was out there. He, he was like, dang, is this how my life's going to end? Because <laughs> he was stuck in that hot truck. <laughs> yeah. 
We were like, <laughs> it was we hilarious. I wish I could have yeah. seen it. We traded it in and we were like, are you guys gonna like resell it? They're oh no, it's junk it. <laughs> no, they said auction it. Oh, auction it? Yeah. Okay. I thought they said they were gonna They better scrap not junk it. that truck. That's a good truck. Somebody yeah, will take it, it for a cheap be... price because it does run. They just gotta do a little work. Just like I did yeah. a little work the whole time I had it. That's a truck that you just keep running for when you're in a tough spot. Yeah, true. So they better not junk it. They better sell it cheap to somebody who could use it and doesn't mind doing the work. Because let's say you have, you don't have two thousand dollars to buy a cheap car that yeah. is still gonna need work. You can get a five hundred dollar truck, and then over time you might have a hundred dollars this month, an extra three hundred dollars this month, so you, you can afford to do the maintenance maybe, but you not might not be able to afford to buy it outright. Yeah, up yeah. Front, like a cheap yeah, definitely. car. So that I was... hope. They better sell it. Somebody would be willing to do the work and keep yeah. it running. It'd be a good cheap vehicle. And this car does have remote start. It's weird though, because it starts so you can cool the car before you get in, but once you unlock the doors, it cuts off. But I, at least it has it. I probably won't use it, because then I'll be using my starter twice every time I go somewhere. And to me, that's ridiculous. You're going to replace your starter twice, twice as, fast. as fast. Like if it would start, and then I could just get in and go, I would use it, but it won't. So I'm not going to yeah. use it unless we're parked in the sun all day and it's yeah. 100 degrees or something, then maybe I'll start it. It's kind of weird because, like, I mean, I guess like, it makes sense because, like, your key's not in the ignition. Like, you still have a key, so. Right, because I mean, it's, it's not like push on, start. You know, yeah. you still have just a regular key. So if it was like, push start, it'd probably be like that. But, I mean, right. they can leave it started and you can just go and turn into an on position and go. That would be nice. But, yeah, let's start her up. Do you want to put this battery in the... Oh, I showed that way too hard. Yeah, holy. <laughs> You think you're still dealing with the old truck. Right. All right. One of the cool things about this truck is the rear window rolls down. They call me Mr. Tips. Ah! <laughs> that is so cool. I'm not sure how much we use that because, I mean, it's Florida. We're probably running the AC most of the time. But maybe at night or during the winter when we have nice days. Or maybe when the dogs are in the back, but we could crack it a little bit because they're crazy and they would totally jump out. Oh, and can you guys guess what is the first song we played in the truck? Thank you guys so much for helping us get a truck. It's a huge relief. Now, we don't have to worry about breaking down in random places. You guys don't have to worry about us breaking down in random places and getting stranded. It just opens up a whole new world with less worry and maybe more energy to put into YouTube. Okay, guys, see you on the next one. Okay, that's I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like I don't know, but I don't.